Okay, this is a valve adjustment on a 92740. Uh, I saw a post where someone was trying to figure out how to use the IPD tool. Uh, so I figured I'd try to pay it forward and make a quick video of it. So I got the valve cover off. Uh, first thing to notice here is the uh, shims underneath there. They uh, sort of spin, so if we can see that. You got the dental pick right here. They spin around and you can see that I've got the uh, pick and that notch right there. Um, and that's what you're going to use to pop the valve shim out. So when you put the, the uh, tool in, it ends up spinning those shims. So you kind of want to position it um, beforehand so that it moves into the right spot. So right there, if we can call that uh, looking forward at the valve, the uh, slot right there is maybe at the 2 o'clock position. So you're going to want to put it at the uh, 11 or 10 o'clock position. Uh, for the valve tool to spin it to the right spot. So let me get ready for that. Okay, so spun that, you can see that the notch is no longer there. Here is the IPD tool. So we've got a little hair on there, but no big deal. Um, there's the cam. You slip it underneath the cam right in there, kind of hold it up against it. You'll feel it lock in, and then you just push it all the way down and uh, you can see the uh, notch didn't line up quite as I was hoping for so we'll take it back out it's real simple to do kind of use the tool to rotate it around there we go get it back in and there is the slot so now we'll take the dental pick and you put it underneath the slot and you don't want to try to yank it up all at once uh, it won't work that well and it, you might snap it so just kind of shimmy it and bounce it up and down back and forth like that and then you can see the uh, shim has popped up right there so just slide the pick underneath it make sure it's up all the way around which it is take your magnetic grabber tool slip it underneath there and there you go, there's your shim.